I'm missing it guys. I don't know if my Bali vlogs are gonna come out first. Oh, it's so soft. Morning beautiful, how are you today? So I am getting ready to go to an event. And the last time I got ready guys in here was actually when well before I went to Bali and oh, I'm missing it guys. I don't know if my Bali vlogs are gonna come out first or this one because i still need to get through and edit them there's a lot of footage to edit and i most likely will post it like day one day two so keep an eye out on those and pattern has been so messed up i'm just using this lash oil by the way from um blink baba just to help with my growth of lashes my sleep pattern has been insane i haven't been able to have a solid sleep i woke up at 4 a.m yesterday at around 7 i really wanted to sleep i was like i am gonna conk out but i forced myself forced myself to stay up and not sleep because i was like no i'm gonna have a solid sleep i'm gonna be able to sleep until 8 so i wanted to get ready for my event today but i woke up at four and i couldn't go back to sleep and I'm, I'm that type of person once i wake up that is it gil i'm not going back to sleep i really am not so i'm quickly gonna get ready have up my tea and make my way to this event by the way elf came out with this brow lamination product oh my gosh i took it on holiday with me and it is up there for me my favorite one is the anastasia beverly hills but this is probably the best affordable one that i've tried the other ones that i've tried just don't hold up my brows as well because i have really thick brow hairs and they are very stubborn but this one in the heat it did so well this outfit's from by hasanat by the way and it's reversible yes from by hasanat like you can have this green side or this darker side so that's what i'm wearing and i'm just just putting my perfume on this is like baccar baccarat dupe ju i can't even speak to that you no know, green street is more the back store the perfume and it lasts you all night long this has lasted me ages i've had this since last year if you want your perfume to last the first step is to use a body mist similar uh, flavor profile to your perfume and then you go into your oil so any oil similar smell to your perfume or something that complements and then your perfume this is my favorite one from lancome it's the name like one of the limited edition ones but it's so good just gonna take some pictures We are going for a walk now and there's a couple of us. I definitely am overdressed. I'm wearing a buyer and everyone's wearing gym wear. What the heck? Okay, we've come to Apple Butter, a couple of us right now. I've actually seen this place trending everywhere. Everyone's been going. It's a fully halal brunch breakfast place. So I'll have it. I got the truffle scrambled egg and the Spanish latte. I'll let you know how it tastes. And I'll show you other guys' one because they got different foods from me. But, yeah. I got this. Salad looks good. I am home. Oh my goodness. That walk 
I don't know if I'm unhealthy or what, but I go to the gym, guys. I actually will do walking. It's just I like to walk at a slow pace, enjoy the view. But well, we were walking quite quickly. Obviously, we had to get it done because it's an event. You know, you have to keep up with everyone. But it was quite enjoyable. I love events where you get to do stuff, and we got to catch up with so many other girls and see them. The experience was just nice in general. For myself, dessert in. Lito, I'm not sure how to pronounce that girl, but the dessert look absolutely delectable. I'll show you a picture because I don't think I recorded it. If I did, great. If I didn't, I'll show you a picture. I feel like I've had such a tough day today, and in general, a week like in it's been hard because since I've come back from Bali, I just feel so you know holiday blues. I've never had it until I went to Bali, and the reason why I feel like this is because like there I was more carefree and I was more near nature. I was always swimming in the water. We were at the beach, and like you're surrounded by like so much beauty. Even though we were like near a busy road, but there was also so many enjoyable moments and I felt like I was thriving and then I came back to London and the first day I came back I had just not a good day like not a good experience and with me when somebody like is mean to me like it really sticks to me I defend myself of course but like either way it takes the energy out of me and then I had that and then today guys I got on the train the Victoria like and I was so frustrated by that like, i have no more energy to show how frustrated i was but i was peed off let me tell you that much because we were waiting on the train the victoria line there was delays things like this happen you know but i was waiting there 30 40 minutes and i was sweating like this clothes i'm gonna have to put it in the wash like the amount of sweat you would think it's bloody 40 degrees but it, it's just that we were just stood there on the train because of connection problems and yeah you know when i'm just like i feel anxious about being late and i just hate being late even though the event is not like a set time I, but in my head i had an expectation of being on time and i didn't meet that and i think that's where i can be really hard on myself um, i think the jet lag is really getting to me as well because it's four like i woke up at 4 a.m like back to back every day and I'm not sleeping enough and my sleeping schedule really affects my mood in general. Also guys, that restaurant, ugh, I have mixed feelings about it because the food was really, really good. Like I will give the food a nine. It was really good. The shakshuka that somebody had didn't look like a shakshuka though. Like I've never seen shakshuka like that. What they gave was just scrambled egg. Just call it scrambled egg. The service though, guys, I'm so surprised that I even bothered paying for the service fee. And don't get me wrong, I'll pay for service fee, but if the service is good. They were just so abrupt and rude. Like, there was a way, there was there was one waiter that was really nice. There was, and the others were just like, really abrupt with how they talk to you. And like, just like, it's like you're bothering them. Just keep in mind, we spent good amount of money for the meal that we all had. And you're going ahead and you're, you're, you're just, you had to be there. For example, my Spanish latte, there was nothing Spanish about it. Spanish latte is meant to have condensed milk. It's meant to be creamy, have a bit of coffee. It's meant to taste sweet, bitter, a bit of coffee. Like everything's meant to marry each other. They literally straight up served me a flat white. Thankfully, like, one of the girls that were with me were like, no, 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 we should replace her. And I was going to be like, oh, no, let's leave it. Because at that point, I was getting really frustrated by their service. And they, sh they actually replaced her. And the one they gave, I mean, it was okay. The Spanish lot, it was okay. But it was nothing special to write home about. But the food, that truffle egg, oh, delectable. And the other food that the girls had looked really good. They really liked the dessert that they had like um this French toast thing. It looked really good. But the service like really come on, fix up. Like every single time it felt like we were bothering them and it's just like for example I was sitting down right and I was just fixing my scarf and then it's the way the lady said like can you move forward? And I was just like okay. 
I'm just quickly, I just literally sat down. I literally sat down and I was just fixing my scarf. And I was a bit back because, and I wasn't blocking the way, by the way. There was still space. I'm not a unconscious person where I'm not aware of my surroundings. Of course, I understand this is a pathway, but why would you put a chair there? Why would you put a, chair, a table and chair there if I have to move so forward to the point where my whole body is touching the table? Like, the table is here, like, I'm here. I think I'm just in a complaining mood. Fortunately, you're my best friend and you're going to have to listen to it. <laughs> but, yeah, the f apple butter food is amazing. But that brunch, I think, the service, I don't know if all of them were having a bad day. Yeah, maybe they were. Because if I was having a bad day, I would probably give you bad, um, bad service as well. But maybe not that brunch. I would say go to a different brunch. You probably have a better experience in terms of the service. But the food is worth the hype. But for me, if... If your service isn't that good, then my experience in general is if your if your service is amazing and the food is mid, I will rate you higher. Yeah, the food would taste even delicious. So it goes well. See you. My loves, how are you? So today I'm going to another beauty event. Is back to back. They tend to be honestly, um, when there is events. They're always together or on the same day. I'm just getting ready. I'm wearing this abaya from Hawa and this green hijab. Yesterday, guys, I literally came home and I was fighting the sleep. And then it must have reached like 4 or 5 o'clock. And I fell asleep. Woke up again. We were actually meant to go to cinema. But my husband was like, look, you're really tired. And so am I. So... I'm not gonna go. <laughs> I feel so bad. Then it reached like I'm gonna say six, seven. That's when my husband came home, and I literally went to sleep at seven in the afternoon, and I woke up at three a.m. again. This is since I've been back from Bali. This is what's been happening, and it's not it, guys, because. I literally only ate breakfast and I ate like half of this cake and that was it. I have not been eating food because I've just been sleeping. This has never happened to me. And I've actually flown out to other countries where there was a big time difference. But I don't know what it is about this time round. I just can't hack it. Like This is what jet lag is. Th that's what I'm learning. Before this point, I, d I don't think I ever experienced jet lag. The right done for today. Hopefully you don't hear any more ranting from me. Very unlikely. you probably hear more. So before we start, those of you who have makeup on, if you want to take it off, please feel free. There are wipes in front of you. Um, so you guys, all skin prep isn't up to standard. The products just aren't going to sit nicely over the top. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that and just really work it into the skin. It's so refreshing. It's really calming as well. It's got gorgeous skin. When applying moisturiser, I like to also do a little lymphatic draining massage. So that just gets rid of any water retention, but it should just really sculpt the skin. This is really well to use because you can apply it after cleansing. You can use it as a moisturiser, you can use it as a primer, you can use it as a serum. And it works so, so beautifully underneath your makeup. I also, with my little sample that I got pre-packaging, um, when I was away, I was just away from work, I took it on the palm of my hands and literally just applied some to the top of my cheekbones when I felt my makeup was looking a bit flat. Go in with the dewy bounce mist. Again, this also has that snow mushroom in it, so it's going to really, really hydrate the skin. Again, it's a moisture magnet, so we're going to spray that onto the skin, like that. <coughs> and again, the dewy bounce the ceramides and peptides, and again, super, super hydrating to those gorgeous amino acids to the skin. 
do really build it up as we go along, depending on the desired coverage. So I'm going to take the little triangle sponge and just dab that in. It's so quick and easy. Look how quickly that's just blended in the skin. It's so soft. <coughs> so this is brilliant for pure today. That will look really nice. So we will keep doing that. And it looks so scary, but it really is. Or you can just apply a little bit to that piece of color. So I'm where you feel like. Okay. Yeah. Because like everyone can everyone that actually would be such a good thing. Sort of drag the face down. Well, that's what we want, isn't it? So I'm gonna go in with the Vitamin Bay Blues Powders. Again, I'm sure you all know and love these. And I'm not actually gonna use a lot of powder because I wanna keep the skin looking really fresh and really glowy. If I was doing a fuller glam look, or let's say, for example, if any of my clients were going on red carpet or anything like that, I would literally powder in areas where I know you're gonna get the most glowy. That was such a good masterclass. I learned so many tips and tricks with that product. And I'm gonna hopefully use it like on my TikTok. So if you wanna see me using the product, go follow me there. Cause I most likely will do like a review, a wear test on that. So check it out. I'm just sitting down. I ate some food, you know, cause me and food, once I see this food, I'm going to run there. so keep an eye on it i'm actually editing it now and i'm excited guys i still haven't edited the bali vlog so <laughs> that's probably going to come out after the e the content put some motivation in the comment section because honestly i'm very unmotivated i think i have trauma not trauma because i'm scared trauma as in like holiday blues and i don't want to look black but comment down below if you really are excited because that will motivate me. And of course, make sure that you like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.